I'm going to make some predictions about the 2010 and 2012 election. But we don't have to argue over the details right now because we will soon see what the results are. Obviously, the 2010 election, we will see the results shortly. 2012, I'm going to estimate roughly two years from now. But that's my math. For 2010, the Democrats are going to lose some seats, but they're still going to maintain a majority in both houses. However, that majority will be slim. This will make passing legislation much more difficult than it is already. It will worsen the pusillanimity of the Democrats. In other words, if they are wimps now, you ain't seen nothing yet. If the Republicans can come up with a semi-palatable candidate, and I'm not sure if that's going to be Mitt Romney, then Fox News and the other sources of idiocy will just ramp up their efforts and help the Republicans to regain the House in 2012. If this happens, we are likely to see something that we haven't seen in a very long time. Riots in the streets. Now, no matter which scenario plays out, the Democrats have proven that they are unable to rule like Republicans do, with an iron fist. George Bush did not give a flying shit about any human being, and the Republican brown shirts went along with whatever Herr Bush asked for. Since the Democrats cannot figure out how to speak as one voice, we are fucked if they remain in power, we are doubly fucked if they lose power. The common denominator is that we are fucked.